Hello everybody and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 and today we will be doing nothing but DLC cars. We've got the newest one, the FBMW Panther, the Beamer in the corner, and then we got the 300 SL uh, in the blue, and then we have the Ford F-150 on the left. So let's not waste time, let's just jump right in. It's funny how little I have to say about this car because honestly I know very little about Mercedes. In fact, I actually have trouble finding the names for them because I don't know the designations. So I'm just going to let the car talk for me. Other than that though, I can say that uh, the Ford F-150 has just got some basic filter needs, but I'm going to kind of do some panning around on the car just so you can kind of see what we might find later on. Um, the Panther has muffler problems, but... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to tune it up and take it out on the drag strip so we can see that, see what the stock form is, and then do the modifications, and then I'll probably just loop back around and then show you the improvements. And on another topic, I also like to say that I'm going to try to be doing these bi-weekly uploads. Probably just going to end up spamming beforehand, but um, there's a chance that I could upload these beforehand now that I have more time because, ooh, just graduated. Mm. I have no idea what that is, but um, so that way I can try to upload some more things. I'm hoping to get a DayZ series started up. I believe I've already talked about that before, but I'm also continuing this. I'm going to try to get it a little bit more precise. That way I can get more content in per video. Um, changing up my editing styles because I'm just kind of getting into this. Um, We'll just roll from there. I might be doing more Wreckfest. I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to have to change some stuff up about that. But the beauty of this, though, is that you might have noticed that I figured out how to do the capturing so that way it does not do the weird buffering effect. And I'm also making my audio louder so that way I can see or you can hear what's going on as I say it. Going back to my topic about DayZ2, I would also like to add that I am going to be doing that with a friend, too, for the standalone. I'm going to be trying to do the mod and the standalone. Not sure how that will work out, because I like to play PvE on, this, on the mod. And it's kind of hard to do that standalone, because there's barely little content in the first place, so everybody just wants to kill each other. But I do plan on doing, if I have to do PvP on the standalone, I'm going to be doing that with my friend. And I don't know, I might have to try to encourage them to talk on the mic because they are a little bit hesitant. I got a tattle on myself a little bit here too. I uh, may have tried to take off the gearbox later on in this part and I had added it out because there was nothing wrong with that and I was stupid. So if it seems a little bit jumpy, that's why. Okay, I think I'm going to go try to get the oil drained out. Let me just put that up on the thing. Um, grab that. We'll get back over here. I always hate doing this, but at least I don't have to pay $100 now because I put the drain underneath it. In fact, actually, I remember not knowing that. That was a little trick, and I always just thought that it was costly to drain the oil. I'm dumb. That's the moral of the story. But, I'll just get this off here. This is an interesting way to do a uh, oil pan, too. But, I mean, I guess that's how it was really on the car. Which is really weird because that's slanted V8. But, I don't know. It's an old car. It was fast when it came out, so. It did something right. Alright, so I'm going to have to go up there now for the pistons, so I'll meet you up there. Saving you guys the pain of having to watch me buy everything, considering there's so many parts for this. So let's just hop right in. I got all the parts. I'm ready to put them all in.
like and subscribe for more silent content like this. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to actually say now because usually it's just my time is occupied by making stupid jokes. So I guess that makes me a good YouTuber. But now I don't know what to do because, you know, all my time was occupied with the dumb jokes and now I don't want to do the dumb jokes and so now I don't have any smart jokes so now I'm just sad. Good content, save me! It's a cool way to do an intake manifold. Not that I have any idea what's really going on with the intake manifold, but you know, it, it brings an air, and the air goes <sighs> It's science. Deal with it. Radiator, get out of my way. Thank you. All right, hundred percent. Time to selly. Yeah, money, money, money. Well, this is some great narration. Anyways, well, let's put that up on the lifter and let's take a look. I believe this is a V8 as well, but it also has a supercharger, so let's take a look at that. Well, it's certainly super. Alright, well, I'm going to go put it up on the lifter so we can get this muffler done and then we can go dyno tune it. You'd think at the very least that you could just, you know, make sure the muffler tips are taken care of. That way the car doesn't look so bad. But, no. Not only that, you have to get the same part on each side wrong. Every, every... I forgot out of English, so I'm just going to end this cod. Oh yeah, earlier in the video too, I forgot that I had a couple of... Smaller problems too with the running gear, so I'm gonna go take care of that. And oh, well, this one looks like it should be easy to figure out. Let me just go look at the other side so that way I can take that off. And I wonder what else could be wrong with it. Um, so we're taking this off. Oh, I can see it's the uh, sway bar. Wasn't there only two parts on it? I believe. Well, let's just take this off and go from there. Want to make sure I don't waste my money by the right one. I think I'm just gonna buy the power steering rack, considering I uh, pretty sure I can't fix the other one. Alright, now that that's all figured out, let's take this over to the dino. The dino! Alright, so let's go find the stock performance. Okay, so now that I've done the other tuning, I got up to 10% better, so let's see what that does. Oh, not too much better, but still not bad at all. Time to get the Hoosiers, bruh. It's 
fighting me. Oh, shit. Now, I heard the most recent update actually has tires that make better grip because of that happening. Um, I can say this for sure. On my other account, I had a thousand horsepower on this car, and ooh, it does not like it. So it appears that I could not fix that power steering rack, so I'm just going to sell all this. And uh, let's get started on this F-150, which that's 4x4. It's different, a little bit different on the gearbox. Um, I'm going to check the other things out first before I go look at that, but I'll get back to that in a second. Alright, now to look at that gearbox. Let's lift this up. Eh, that's a little loud. You can see here it's got a transfer case, so it comes all the way back down to the front. Next time on Car Mechanic Simulator, we're going to do these three cars, and I'm looking forward to doing some more of this. Uh, stop in, see what's new. Bye.